What's up guys, this is Hardik here and as you all know, I already made a video on the Lollipop ROM for the Sony Xperia C um, but that was not stable as this is so this, I'll quickly show you, is the Lollipop ROM and it's completely stable everything's working fine about phone and it's developed by Isam Madan Lee I hope I pronounced it right and it runs on Android version 5.1 so the previous video I made was on Android 5.0.1 but it's on 5.1 and it's pretty much stable everything's working cellular network is working Wi-Fi is working fine as well I know I haven't uploaded videos since past few weeks but I'm having few issues with my editing machine so now it's under repair so I'll be uploading videos soon um, but yeah it was just an FYI to, for you guys to know um, so also there is a giveaway coming soon on my channel so thank you everyone who subscribed to me I just crossed a thousand subscribers so there is a giveaway coming soon so just stay tuned for that and yeah so I um, will be giving the download link for this ROM in the description below yeah so just download it paste it in your SD card and just flash it via the CWM recovery so that's there here as you can see if I just swipe down from here uh, here are the quick toggles this wasn't available in the previous ROM that I made the video on so here is a clear button as well so that goes there Wi-Fi Bluetooth and things so battery as you can see over here uh, unfortunately you can't tap on it but we can definitely drop tap on the user and the settings as well so as you can see this here is the settings also as you can see the nav buttons here I'm sorry the on-screen buttons here are different as well so it's the it's like the Xperia Z series I should say yeah as this ROM is based on Z series uh, only so that's there so here's the dialer normal dialer no changes here in the dialer itself uh, so anyways as you can see if I just uh, tap on the app drawer this here is the new launcher that you'll be getting from the Xperia Z series so as you can see over here we got all the search apps uninstalled and all the options that we used to get on the Z series so you don't have to flash the G apps here uh, a few Google apps comes pre-installed mainly the Play Store so you can just download uh, every other app that you want uh, so as you can see all the Xperia fe uh, features are here or Xperia apps are here music and things album video email calendar settings uh, i'll be going deep into settings later but i'll just quickly show you what else we get in the rom itself we get here is a file explorer or file commander i'm sorry there we go file commander accept and this ui is new as you can see sd card internal storage it's new we also get an option for tinted status bar so we can just customize this device as we want uh, so no limits for customization also we get exposed here as well Xperia exposed as well as exposed installer so that's a huge huge thing for you routers or you the people who root and do things like that so it's a good thing for you guys also there's the update center that also existed on the official ROM Stana this is something new uh, I don't know what this is actually but just hit on this real quick okay I guess it's it's something related to oh so I guess it's like a theme engine so we'll just quickly uh, choose your smite okay 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 got it so it's it's like the theme engine itself but we'll just let's see color OS okay so this is pretty cool i didn't know about this here so that's pretty cool um so yeah it's it's generally like a theme engine uh, so you get to customize your device up by applying themes so that's there also going back here as you can see we get here another option uh it's called siphon so this is like a stream thing something like that um let it open real quick as you can see there 
this is something related to Wi-Fi or VPN I should say this is a browser I guess I don't know what this is actually but I'm guessing it's a browser so let me just stop this okay so we'll just try that later on you, you just saw that uh, we got the key uh, option over there so it has to do something with the VPN itself so we get another file manager over here so that's there then we have extra so we'll just quickly open it and why is this not stopping we we'll just close the app real quick as you can see the distance is also uh, near my design so it's like the lollipop style that, is, that you're getting on the nexus devices so here extra oh sorry extra we get here options for i don't know what this is but yeah i just don't know what this is um so that's it i guess something to do with the customization i guess here um but yeah this is the thing that you get notes tap it you get here pre-installed it's the wallpaper app as uh, many of you guys will be knowing it's a wallpaper app playstation app uh, so i just quickly open it i don't have a playstation account yet uh but this here as you can see directly connects to your ps so that's a good thing actually so next tab here is esl explorer so three fire explorer till now um but yeah you could just disable that in the settings then gem xperia exposed so as you can see exposed is installed here already so we'll get all the exposed apps here um also camera it's designed kind of new as you can see over here it's kind of new i'll just quickly snap a few pictures as you can see the focus is pretty fast i guess snap and there you can see it's the new ui that kind of snaps the image but anyways that's there i'll just quickly keep it aside here uh so that's the new camera then we get here is the gravity box so you get this from the exposed but he, here it's pre-installed so we'll just open it and um, wait not responding okay i think i need to update it by the exposed installer over here so we'll do that uh then we get a lollipop land i'm sorry here so lollipop land it's a game um so if i just there you can see it's the basic lollipop game that you used to get on the nexus devices so yeah i'll just exit that <laughs> so anyways king root i did root this device so but the king root was pre-installed already um so that's their root request i already did root the device so it's pretty cool uh sketch that you used to get normally or audio recorder um that's pretty cool exposed as you can see over here if I just open it, uh, you'll see all the options over here. If I just hit download, there'll be plenty, plenty of modules here. Um, there we go, plenty of modules. I'll just update the XP gravity box later. But yeah, gravity box is still here, so no worries there. Then the next thing we get here is um, let's see. That's it. We'll just quickly jump into the settings and I'll just show you what else we get in the settings quickly. So here in the settings, as you can see, basic stuff that you used to get on the Xperia. Uh, but in display, as you can see here, we get here notification raw style. So highly customizable ROM, also pretty much stable. So just try it out. Um, you won't regret it later. So themes and lock screen were the basic things that you used to get on the Xperia official rom power management is also the basic thing that you should get on the uh, official rom of the xperia so that's there going back to users i don't think it supports multiple users just like the 
um, Nexus devices but anyways that's there location security setup guide about phone and I already did show you this software update so this also supports software updates that's a pretty good thing but I guess it's based on the system itself so no big thing here also just an FYI there's no YouTube app there's no Gmail app installed so this is the Play Store app so you have to install all by yourself manually so yeah talking about the battery life I'll just quickly go into the settings again and I'll just show you the battery consumption here um, battery power management there we go and um, let's check the battery over here as you can see it did I did use it for 18 hours I mean I didn't use it for 18 hours but it's already 18 hours and I still have 50% battery remaining I used it for browsing the net I used it for uber and that's basically it for YouTube and other things but mainly for browsing and for uber and for YouTube itself so battery is pretty outstanding as well charging is basically the same charging rate is basically the same that you used to get on the Xperia devices but the battery life has increased here I mean not actually increased but it's pretty stable as far as the ROM goes then what else you get here um, gravity box as I said just updated from the play uh, from the export installer so yeah that's pretty much it it's a pretty pretty stable ROM for the Xperia C as you can see over here and just just try it just go ahead and try it and you won't regret it later anyways that's pretty much it thank you for watching this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if not already subscribed and I'll see you guys in the next one